Yes. Don't think that's getting by me. And, you know, I was warning you now. That was happening every week. And I had to take, as art editor, I had to take big stacks of artwork, keep a new issue, and show them to For approval. For yeah. approval. Yeah. And that was when we actually got something through. I, I, I was certain this was going to come back to me, and I'm going to be putting, drawing a bra on this girl. We had a, in Antwoord, we had a scene in a carnival. Being a carnival, it had a, a topless girl yeah. done. Yeah, the South American artist just drew a topless girl to mm -hmm. people out. Mm -hmm. I took it and I thought, oh, well, you know, that's a thing. he's going to say, what do you think you're doing? Mm -hmm. And so it works. I ah. sold it. Well, it is printed. It's in Outwards. Yeah. It's, it's a topless girl in Outwards way back in the 70s, which is fantastic. You know? <laughs> he didn't take any notice of that. He did take a lot of notice later of uh, Nemesis and Warlock, mm. where he saw. He saw things where there weren't things. Oh, really? He missed things where there were things. Okay. So he saw phalluses everywhere. <laughs> 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 I was called in once from my office to, to go in and white out a thin bit of bridge between two statues. And I said, why, why am I doing this? And the editor, Stephen Maddox, who was editor at the time, said, um, what's not really happy? He you know, thinks it's a penis. I said, really, it's there. And I said, you know, you know, for God's sake, you know, he said, no, he's not happy, you're going to have to change it, you're going to have to change it. So I was, we were having that all the time. And yet, Sir Cromada's underage wife, no one said anything about it. He's like 15. Mm. You look at the old scripts. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They haven't said a word about that. Right. Um, but you have to understand, in that period, those guys who were censoring us were, they were writing the letters in Penthouse and things like that. Um, the Penthouse spin off. We just lied on the letters. Well, well, no, if they'd, be, if they'd be dressed as Reed's wife, it'd be more hilarious. <laughs> but um, um, they were, they were, there was Penthouse Forum. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was mainly letters. So they were, as freelancers, writing for freelance. I was on a train, traveling in as an innocent young woman, and the lights went out, and this rugby team burst out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all that kind of thing. And they were censoring us. You know? I mean, it's, it's not that. I'm not really. Yeah. Anyway, have I got off the subject now? I was talking no, about that. No, I think you're definitely going to talk about that. That's all right. Well, I'm not going peculiar then. Yes. <laughs> I'll just have to, just have to cross your legs then. <laughs> but, uh, but that, but that, it's obviously a far, it still was extraordinary to see this. And I talked to somebody, uh, you, I think, will tell you how you, you were really fri frightened of Nemesis. Mm. I was, and I was a bit older than he was. It's wrong. It was wrong. It was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the good. These are the good guys. And they were okay. And then, and then we're there, and then he was the, the bad guys at the start. It's, Wait, it's fun. The whole world is so kind of freakish. And, and when, when we started it, it was a spin-off from a thing called Terror Tune, which was yeah. in itself a spin-off from Roadbusters, where we had this chase scene in Roadbusters, and Bob Bartholomew again went to the censor. And he said, I absolutely hate this. If it wasn't so late, I'd have people remove that whole chase sequence. And we, when he went, we thought, oh, bugger him. We're going to do it again, bigger and better. So we did it again, and we kind of liked what we'd done. We had a sphere, and it was kind of there's something there. And being too, perhaps, like me, a poor abstract Catholic, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. you could possibly see in the. It does it just a bit? There's yes. a little tra there's trace elements in our background. <laughs> back in the yes. So we were kind of pushing and pushing. And when we. Um, in the original story, and we wanted to make it really obvious the uh, Earth people and the villains. I said, well, the easiest way to make them obviously villains is to give them clansmen or inquisition mm. courts. Mm. Right, right. You can never be good wearing a hood like that, frankly, can you? You're not, you're not <laughs> well, of course, <laughs> that hood is not just to do with the inquisition. Yeah. It is a traditional thing in the Catholic Church, isn't it? It is, actually, it is, yeah. And <laughs> it has, doesn't necessarily have that, that, that is a negative fact association. And it's got a lot. Uh, it's got. Uh, it's got a lot of S and M over time. I mean, like, every, everything about it is, 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 is going on there. And then uh, Nemesis. Um, he didn't appear until much, much later. Mm. And his design became more outrageous. Um, that's because we had fun, and the reader response was great because um, no one up there really liked it, but the readers liked it, and that was good enough. As long as the readers liked it. And you, were getting the, you, the, you get the votes in when you favourites, and that was, and was Nemesis was even the sort of topping Judge Dredd, perhaps. It did for a, a, a yeah. period. Saul Kamala was always the most popular, because yeah. he was such a bastard. Um, <laughs> the, he was, the, more, spin the more maggots he had coming out of his nostrils, the more he was. And we loved him. When, before the Berlin Wall came down, someone sent a photo of Saul Kamala and uh, be pure, be vigilant, behave, paint <laughs> the Berlin Wall. <laughs> it was great. It was a cultural, cultural work. Achievement, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but that was the most fun I had in 2018 was on yeah. um, Nemesis. Uh, and the editor at that time was that, who was the editor that was um, doing it? It was, it was really at his, at his vibrant 
Steve McManus. Absolutely, yeah. Was it? And he let us, yeah. he let us get on with it. And the previous mm. editor, Kilton Goldsman, said he wouldn't have let us have done it. No. He said it was too crazy. Mm. It didn't make any sense. And mm. it was too wild. But wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wrong. And the other thing we were always <laughs> fighting from the earliest day was um, who the comic was aimed at. Mm. Management said it's 12 year olds mm. and under. And we knew from week one we had student and all of them. And a bunch of free gifts had gone. A lot of people told me they were embarrassed to buy it for the free, <laughs> special <laughs> space bit. But they bought it on issue four. Um, yeah. uh, but we, we, we knew from the post bank. But we were giving away postal orders for letters. And we, we weren't allowed to give them to students. 